I'm going to show you a little bit about how to use this andrewmarsh.com sun path simulator. There's a lot that you can do, and we're just going to do a little bit to examine the patterns that the sun makes in the sky in different parts of the world and also at different times of the year. So let's take a look. Right now, there is a little magnifying glass right here. I'm going to put in my zip code or my location. That is Philadelphia. And then I press enter. And I'm going to select Philadelphia. And it will put me on the map. I already selected it, so that's where I am. Um, over here, you will see that these red lines can be moved. See if you can notice what is happening when the red lines over here move. Also, you will see that there are some red lines in this area. So what are these red lines showing? Well, they are showing the height of the sun. So here's the sun right here. It's this little red dot with a yellow around it. And that is going to be going in a path. So you can actually see the sun moving around its path when you move this. There are different things on the X and Y axis. So on the X axis, you have the months, February, March, April, May, June, July, etc. Those are the months. So when you move this way, it's showing you how the arc of the sun is getting lower in the sky when you move towards December. So here we are at December, and here are some fake buildings, and the arc in the sky is getting pretty low. And as you move more towards um, April, May, and June, that red line is getting higher and higher in the sky. So if you imagine this as a big dome, if you were to look up into the sky right now and imagine the sky as a big dome, that is what this simulator is showing. Now I want to talk a little bit about some settings that you can change and things that you can fool around with on this simulator. First of all, you can press play. The triangle up here. And that will show you what the sun is doing right on the same place that is the date. It's not necessarily right now. It's showing you when that's happening. So this is June, and actually if I want to see exactly when, Ju July 3rd, 2021. This is what the sun was doing. So, and you can see it is moving here. You can also see that this blue over here is showing the daylight, and this black is showing the nighttime. What do you notice about the daylight in June versus the darkness in December? Well, you might notice that in June, in Philadelphia, it is the longest day of the year, so there is the most light. So that is why you see most of this light blue. And then in December, the nights are longer than the days, so you see more of this um, darkness here. Now, let's change a few things. We are going to scoot this line over to October. Let's see what's happening in October. Okay, the sun's path is a little bit lower in the sky. The shadows are making a little bit of a different pattern. And it's also showing you what's happening to the sun at night. Where is it going? So let's change a couple things. Now, before we change too much, I want to show you some settings that you can adjust. So I'm going to press stop. And up here in the settings wheel, you can choose to make it show only the daytime. So if you don't want to see where it's going at night, you can click off of that. So you'll see what happens when it gets to the end of the horizon. When the sun sets, OK, it's about to set. And then it's just going to skip right over to the sunrise again. OK, I like seeing the nighttime too. You can change the speed so you can make it go really fast. Or if you want to slow it down to really get a sense of what's going on, you can do that. I like to keep it in the middle. Um, you can also click over here and see where you are longitude and latitude wise. And you can get some sunrise and sunset times. So what would happen if you change the date over here? Would the sunrise and sunset times change? I'll let you figure that out. 
and then oh it also gives you the twilight times that's cool okay so now well let's keep this open and now um, I want to go to this magnifying glass and let's change our location so I'm gonna put in Akudeti which is the place in Iceland where I took those panoramas Akureyri, Iceland, press enter, and there it is. I will click on that. And this is Akureyri, Iceland. Now, you can already see from many things that it's very different. What do you notice is different? What do you notice about this that's different? What do you notice about this that's different? Well, you can see that the daylight, there's a lot more daylight in June, and there's a lot more darkness in the winter months. So before, if you noticed, the sunlight only went to about here in Philadelphia and here. And now it's going all the way up to 23 hours. That's a, uh, 11 p.m. And it's starting again. So the sun barely, barely sets. So if you look in the pictures, in the panorama pictures that accompany the lesson from Akureyri, Iceland, you can see the path that the sun is taking. Now let's go to June. I'm going to move this little slider over to June. It was the end of June when I took those photos. Actually, it was almost the beginning of July. So let's say it was around July 1st. So this is what the sun was doing. Now notice, when does it get dark? And what direction is the sun setting in? Does that match the panorama photos that you saw? You can also notice the length of the shadows changing. So you can play around with that a little bit. So this is showing that it is daylight for most of the day in Akudeti, Iceland on July 5th. And the sun sets right between here. It goes below the horizon just for a little while. There it is right now, and now it's rising again. Now, what would happen if we went to the North Pole? So you could click right here, and you could say North Pole, enter. And let's just click on the North Pole and see what is happening. Oh my goodness, it changed so much. This looks completely different. So how does that look different? What is going on? Why does it look like that? And what is happening with the sun's pattern right over here? Let's go to a different time. So let's see what happens in the middle of the winter. The sun is never coming above the horizon. So it is dark the entire day. And what about if we go right about in here? The sun is just below the horizon which means that you would get sort of a sunrise, sunset feel to the sky for the entire day. So there's a lot that you can do. I'll let you play around. I want to show you one more thing. So you can try different locations. You could try the equator. You could try the South Pole. You could try where you live. Um, and I also want to show you one cool thing, which is this. Let's go back to Philadelphia. And I want to show you, yeah, let's do summer in Philadelphia. OK. Um, this eyeball, eyeball icon, get it icon. Click on that. You can see different views. So you can play around with that. And you can see the sun's pattern from all different angles. And I think if you click on this one, it's showing the perspective from the sun, maybe. Actually, I'm not sure. What is that one showing? Is that nighttime? Yeah, that must be nighttime. And the sun rises. Really interesting. Anyway, so just to give you some different perspectives, on how you can observe. And that's if you were looking from above. So what would happen if we were in the North Pole? Looking from above, let's see. Interesting. 
All right, so there's a lot to play around with. I don't even know what half of these things do, but I bet that you could probably learn a little bit more about them. Hmm. All right, let's leave it at that.